is the start. Shabanak, I think, is the last one to go down. Number one is Unleashed, Frankie Dottori, the man who landed the Magnificent Seven here at Ascot. He wears the white cap and uh, so far looking for that first winner of the afternoon for the rest of the world. He's uh, drawn a blank so far with the team well out in front so far. Naismar Roman is uh, next, Andres Sabarix, the rest of the world, Taff Rail, Kevin Daly, Great Britain and Ireland, Red Cap, Moon Emperor Mick Canan, Red Cap there. Manadaj on Pat Edry, Red Cap, and Shabana Kieran Fallon, Red Cap. Random Quest is Daryl Holland, also the Red Cap of Great Britain and Ireland. Archduke Ferdinand is, of course, Dougie White. Bid for fame is Frederick Johansson, and Rawan is Shane Dye, the bottom three for the rest of the world. Ten to go, let's have a look at the betting as they're at the start. Well, Manor Darjon is the favourite, but it's easy to back here on the course. Seven to four, four to one unleashed. They've done nine to two. It's seven to one bar. Well, I wonder how Manor Darjon feels in the forecaster. Well, the answer is that it's the one that it selects. Manor Darjon. Blue Square Shogar Cup, and they're racing. Pretty good even break too. Manadajon, the favourite, got away pretty well for Pat Edry right there in the centre. Rawan was up there early and Naves Meyer Omen over on the far side. Just in behind them, Tafra with the red cap and Shabanak settles fourth on the inside. Out deeper on the track, Frankie de Tori settling fifth with a white cap on Unleash and tucked away behind them is bid for fame. Frederick Johansson, who's having a memorable day at Ascot today, is well positioned on the inside. Two lengths further back is Random Quest, followed then by Manadajon. Darjon, who settles third last from Archduke Ferdinand and Mick Canan is last on uh, Moon Emperor as they pass the judge now turning very sharply right-handed and racing away from the stands. In theory, the uh, uh, rest of the world team can sew it up here if they can get the 30 points required, but to Pat Edry on the favourite Manor Darjon and at the moment is lying in third last position. Heading down the side, a mile and a half to go and it's rest of the world who dictate terms, Nesmaro and in front by two lengths to Ra one. A length away then Shabanak, the inside the red cap. Four lengths further back is Taff Rail. Followed further back in the field by Unleash of the White Cap and then follows Bid for Fame, another White Cap. A couple of lengths away then is the Red Cap of Great Britain and Ireland uh, who's tucked away on the inside as they charge downhill. Archduke Ferdinand is well back as well. Manadajon still hasn't started his run. Edry just biding his time at the rear of the field. The captain of the Great Britain and Ireland team still third last at this stage and Mick Canan on Moon Emperor is right out the back but the pace has been generous as they run down past the now and it's Naves Meyer Omen who's out in front here for Andreas Suborix uh, uh, representing the rest of the world team turning very sharply right-handed now down in Swinley Bottom. Rawan is up in second place now for Shane Dye rest of the world as well so they're one two rest of the world then in third on the inside is Great Britain and Ireland Shabanak four lengths away then Taff Rail another red cap in fourth position at this stage as they start to pull out of Swinley Bottom now and racing uphill towards the six furlong marker. Uh, back in the field unleashed. Frankie de Tori this stage on the inside of runners as they continue their climb up towards home. Then Bid for Fame, who's also back in the field. Random Quest and Daryl Holland are positioned on the outside of runners. The red cap and the yellow jacket. They're followed next by Manadajon, who's third last for Edry, but now starting to grab hold of the bit, Manadajon. Archduke Ferdinand is second last, and Moon Emperor whips them in now. Ten lengths covers the field as they race up the side towards the half mile. And on the outside, Taffrail. Taffrail has moved up for Kevin Darley to throw out the big challenge to Naismar Roman. So it's uh, the Great Britain and Irish team have taken a narrow lead here. It's Taffrail on the outside of Naismar Roman, just behind them Shabanak as they start to swing the corner now. Rawan back in the field. They're followed by Unleashed. Frankie de Tori, the white cap, now starting to get into the clear. Two furlongs left to go in the Shergar Cup stayers. And the leaders on the far side now Shabanak driven into the lead now. Shabanak takes it up clearly for Kieran Fallon. Could it be a double for the five times champion? He sprints four lengths in front of Random Quest. They're followed by Unleash, who's not making much of a run. And Manadajon is running on the inside. It's not today. Shabanak, now I reckon, is home for Fallon. Shabanak about four or five in front. This Michael Bell trained Shabanak goes on to win it by five lengths. In second, then Random Quest. Third on the inside. I reckon Manadajon may be just from Unleash. And further back in the field, Archduke Ferdinand. And the last to finish is Rawan, so the winner. And the winner, a convincing one too. Another one for Kieran Fallon for Great Britain and Ireland. And Shabanak 
has come back to lead home a 1-2-3 for the Great Britain and Irish team. And here they are crossing the line. Shabanak it is who wins by a good four lengths, maybe more, from Random Quest and second, Daryl Holland. Manadar Jean gets third the inside. So a 1-2-3 for the Great Britain and Irish team. In fourth is Unleashed on the outside, Frankie de Tori. And in fifth position is... On the outside, Archduke Ferdinand, Dougie White. A gap in the field then to bid for fame, then Moon Emperor, Naismire Roman, Taff Rail behind them. We'll be delighted by the SP of number six, Shabanak, returned at seven to one. Second, number seven, Random Quest at ten to one. And third, number five, Manadar John, the well-backed seven to four favourite.